Hey guys, it's Chris Hudson from Hudson Lighting and we are back at the swimming pool. Today I've got Max up there, he's just winding back the cover. And we're gonna take that light out and replace it with our light over here. Um, at the moment what we're doing is we're trying to identify what light is what on the circuit, which is a bit difficult to do because a lot of lights aren't working. If you have a look here, there is one, two, three, four, five. So there's five down each side. <clears throat> And this is what we're just trying to work out actually because downstairs there's a drawing and it shows that there's four lights on each side and two lights at each end very confusing so the drawing is obviously not right at all um but there's a lot of lights that are out not working the two spa lights are working um although they are in absolute bits so if you can see that one down there is just literally just missing missing all its cover and everything. Um, but yeah, there was I think there was meant to be a few extra, um, but that's not the case. Anyway, um, so we're going to get on and replace the, replace this one to test to make sure our swimming pool light actually works. So we're probably going to have to pull the one that's not working out um, and get the voltage tester on it, and then we can actually see what's going on. Right. So let me just, here we go. That's the, this is the one. Can I get any more flex on it? No, I cannot get any more flex on it. Um, so let me bring you down here and you can see. So this is the um, swimming pool light that we're going to replace. Can you see that's absolutely positively full of water? Um, so I have to spin this ring, drop that out and drop that out. Oi, look at all of that. Goody gumdrops, eh? So this is where it gets a little bit difficult oh, there we go that's pulled the whole connector off oh that's because it's a screwing one whoops <laughs> um i don't want that touching that because it's on a 12 volt transformer um what i'm probably going to do is pull this out strip it back and then we'll actually get some test a tester on it so there's it pulled out i mean this has seen obviously some serious corrosion however let's consider that this has been in a swimming pool for uh, so it's 2005, so 15 years, 15 years this has been in. So, uh, you know, it's done pretty well, really. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to strip this back, get the tester on it. Um, I'm just going to just let that drop down there. And we'll get this back out over here. Yeah, I saw them go off, so I was like, oh. <laughs> So I'm heading down into the basement section. Um, sorry about the mic situation. I'm switching between, we've got the GoPro 9 that's actually poolside with Max. Got my DSLR there with no mic on it other than the one that came with. And then we've got this Hero 7 um, that's just plain mic on it as it is. So yeah. So anyway, this is the basement. Um, and these are the pool transformers and the um, connection. So what I'll do is I'll set you down here. It might be a bit noisy. I'm going to ring Max. Hello. Hello. Yep. Well, you know you're in 12 volts? Or somewhere around that way? Yep, 12. Yeah, okay. Yep. So if I could connect one. Yep. And then we'll, we'll see. All right. Please connect it one, still 12? Yep, still 12. I got, one I'm, one get, I'm getting free. I can't, uh, I'm talking. So that's that. Yeah. So if I'm just, just to check, if I push that back in, you're going to get 12 again. Yeah, yeah. 12 again? Yeah, just got All right, it. Cool. Yeah. Cool, right. We got up there. Nice. Amazing. All right, I'm coming up. All right. Right, okay. Right, okay. Right, okay. Right, Uh, no, you can't. You can't touch off from the jack. 
if you if you touched off so you touched off uh, so you accidentally done tour 19 not six o opposite opposite way S six is a, okay yeah you're gonna have to take the chuck off and retouch retouch off without the touch yeah nah nah you can't you can't do it on the chuck yeah all right all right see ya. Found the old school boy around. Screwed it up. <laughs> two six. Oh, turn it on two six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 See, if you were an electrical apprentice, I didn't see any um, other lights to light. Lights to, I didn't see. Probably yeah. just happened to be they the seen, ones yeah. that. Yeah, what did you say? I say if you were an electrical apprentice, yeah. this probably be this would be a fun job, but most jobs aren't yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> Seems um, alright, yeah. yeah. Guys, if you've ever seen these connectors, little ones from Whisker. Um, I've not used them before. But they've got like gel inside, so hopefully they do the trick. We shall see. I'll just push in the connector in and snap it shut. Job done. So I've temporarily, that's our, that's our lead there, I've connected our driver which is just sitting in here, um, it's just an IP68 Aurora driver and connected our mains in here. Now obviously this is completely and utterly temporary but that will do, that will get us through now. Right so that's it in right now, you can see the beam that it casts across on the other side. So pretty happy with that, um, it's at 350 milliamp at the moment, we could push it to 500 milliamp if needed. But um, yeah, I mean the other thing is it is a little bit loose, so we'll have to do an O-ring in there. And there's a possibility that adapter plates are needed just to cover the holes that are left from the screws from the existing ones like over there. But that's it. <laughs>